All right, so welcome back everybody. So for this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to play The Lost Expedition from Osprey Games. So let's get started. So I've got the game set up for a solo game. And you can play this game uh, competitively, cooperatively, and solo. If you play competitively, you can only play with two people. If you play cooperatively, you can play with five people. And obviously, you can play solo by yourself. Now, the solo and the cooperatively rules only differ when it comes to setting up the morning round and evening round. And the, and the game is a little bit different setup-wise, and just in setup. But the rest of the game is the same whether you're playing cooperatively or solo. So, I'm only gonna show you guys the solo mode, but like I said, there's only a there's only a little bit of variation between solo and co-op and co-op in this game. So, anyways, the point of the game is we are searching for El Dorado. We have a team of people here on an expedition in search of El Dorado. We start on this card over here with our uh, this in this this one little meeple indicates our expedition team, and we are trying to move up, up on these cards all the way until we find El Dorado, which is all the way over here. A total of nine cards in the setup for solo game. There's nine of them. Now, <clears throat> so that's what we're trying to do. But in the game, the game actually comes with six different, um, six different guides or people on the expedition team. And whether you're playing cooperatively or you're playing solo, you will only play with three of them. You're only going to be playing with all six of them if you're playing competitively, okay? So basically, just choose your three favorite with the corresponding icon. You need one that's an expert, that's in jungle expertise. You need one that's a navigator, okay? And you need one that's an expert in camping. Okay, you need one of each of those, but then just pick your favorite of the of the two different variations of uh, different people. <clears throat> so here we have Bessie, Isabel, and Roy. Now in solo, you start with three health for each of the characters. Three health in solo is max health. If, if you ever at any point in the game are supposed to gain health and you have full health of all of your people, then you get no more health you can only have what your max is. Now you start with three meat tokens and three bullet tokens as well. Bullet tokens are hard to get, so use them sparingly. And meat is also a problem. At some point in the game, if you run out of meat tokens and something requires you to lose a meat token, but you don't have a meat token, then you're going to lose health in the process. But there are still lots of other ways to lose health in this game. So, let's get started. Let me show you guys the flow of the game. So, we start with the morning phase, okay? And in solo, the first thing you do is you'll draw two cards, okay? And we have two cards here. The Jaguar and the Ambush. Now, during the morning phase, we have to put them in numerical order. So, <clears throat> the Jaguar would go here. And the ambush would go here, for instance, okay? And we'll probably move things a little bit closer so everyone can see better. Because um, that is a little far away, isn't it? Let's try to move everything up a little bit and get a closer look at this while we play the game. Because I'm actually going to play the game and see if I can win. Okay, that's a little closer. And we'll pick up the card when we uh, arrive at each one. Um, okay, so that's one, one of the things you do. Another thing you'll do in solo is you actually start with a hand of cards. So I will start with six cards, okay? And now at this point in the game, I must choose two to add to that path. And once again, they'll go in numerical order. So we have a, a peccary, we have a crocodile, we have a scorpion, we have an awa, electric eels, and we have ants. Hmm, let's see. What do I want to pick? Maybe... Um, 
I like crocodiles. Sure, we'll, we'll pick the crocodile. Why not? I like crocodiles. Let's go with that. Um, and maybe we'll go with the, with the Awa as well. Okay. And so far that's exactly in order. But then after I've picked two cards to add to the, to the path that we're taking, I must draw another card and then add it as well. And then I must add one more card from my hand so that I'm utilizing three of the six cards that I start with. So I still have to use another one of these anyways. So I think what I'll do is, I guess we'll pick this one. Okay, <clears throat> so that would actually go here because it's 41 and that's 42. Okay, cool. All right, so that's our starting path. So now we'll, we'll get started playing this game. So, the first thing we come across is a jaguar. Now, these, there are three different colors of symbol, of bars or uh, banners here that could potentially be in the card. Yellow always goes first, then it's red, then it's blue. Yellow is not optional. You must do every yellow box that is on the card. Then when you come to the red boxes, you must choose one of the red boxes to do. You don't need you don't do do them both. You just do one or the other. You have to choose wisely. And then if there's blue boxes, those are optional. You can choose to do them all or not at all. So, you know, that's what's really cool. But right now we just have red boxes. So what do these icons mean? Well, this, you know, obviously is like a medical symbol you would say in a hospital, right? And if it's clear, it means you lose health. If this was if this was black instead of white, it would be I gain health. But that doesn't make much sense since this is a jaguar. Why would the jaguar be giving me health anyways? No, I'd be losing health, if anything. Also, this symbol is, this icon means I skip the next card. So if I was to choose this path and get injured by the jaguar, two hits, two injuries, I'd skip the next card, which is thick fog. Okay, that would just get skipped. We wouldn't do it and we would just move on to the ambush. Or I could choose this one. I could choose to shoot the Jaguar with one of my bullets, and instead I would get an expertise in jungle. What that would mean is I would actually get to keep this card and save it for later use to help me on my journey. So you know what? We are going to use our bullet to do just that. Why do that when we, when we when, why get injured when we could use our gun to protect ourselves, and then also get a nice little benefit to boot. So that's what I'm gonna do. You, I'm gonna lose a bullet. Hopefully, that was the smart move. Hopefully, we'll see. Okay, so now I've got an expert in jungle expertise. You may see where that can come in handy later. Okay, since we didn't skip the next card, that means we must do the next card, which is Thick Fog. Now, because of thick fog, we either must do one of three things when we have a symbol that's either a navigation symbol, a jungle symbol, or a camping symbol. But if it's, since it's none of those and it's just the camping symbol, now I must do one of three options. I can utilize a jungle, I mean, I can utilize a navigation card that I acquired earlier. Unfortunately, this is a jungle card that I acquired. It's not a navigation card, so I can't utilize it for this. So I either must injure Isabel because she's our navigator. She would lose one health. Or my third option is somebody would have to lose two health. Or, you know, I'd be taking off health here and one off of the other person over here, for instance. So that's a lot more than one. So obviously... And I don't have a navigator a card besides Isabel. So Isabel is the one that gets hurt. She loses one health. If you run out of health, your character dies. If all three characters die, you lose. Okay, that's, one of the, that's a lose condition. Everyone dies, game over. The only way you can win is if you make it to El, uh, El Dorado. And if these cards here, if they ever get shuffled twice, if you ever go through this entire deck once, and then you go through it again completely, making it so you have to shuffle twice, 
you automatically lose. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the two ways you can lose. So anyways, so we received one damage. Now this symbol means we can swap a card. Swapping is always optional. We don't have to swap if we don't want to, but the next one is skip. So whatever card we do next, we get to skip. So maybe we might want to swap out a card to get rid of something that's way worse, right? That would be a smart move indeed. Um, this ambush looks really, really bad. So I don't think I'd want to swap this one out because it's horrendous. All right, I'm going to lose a lot of health on that ambush. Um, so I think what we'll do is we will swap out the, but, but then, mm, yeah, I don't know. We'll swap out the peccary and the awa. So we'll do the awa for the peccary. So now the, the awa will come up sooner than the peccary will. And then we are done with this card. So we'll just get rid of it. It's out of our way. Okay. So, the next card I'm going to have to deal with is this am Oh, wait, actually, I get to skip the ambush. Remember? Because of my thick fog, I get to skip the next card, which is the ambush. So, I don't get to deal with... I don't have to worry about the ambush. I was able to avoid it. Awesome. But now we've come across to Crocodile. So, now I have to choose one of these options. I can either shoot it to get two meat, and we only have three meat, so it might be nice to have some more meat at the cost of a bullet. But if we choose not to do that, then our only other option is drawing two more cards, which means we would draw two more from here and we'd be drawing blind. We could be drawing some good cards. We could also be drawing some bad cards. So you know what? I think we'll just utilize our, our bullet and shoot the crocodile and get two meat. Okay, cool. So that's what we'll do, and we got two meat for our troubles as well. Okay, so now moving on. Sorry, Mr. Crocodile. <clears throat> okay, now the next card is this one. Um, so we have several different stuff here. The first one is I can ask the Awa basically to use him for later to help us navigate um, maybe something that comes up that requires navigation, just like with the jungle card. So we could take the Awa just like we did with the Jaguar and save him for later. That's one option. The second option is we can utilize one meat. So basically we can give him some meat to ask for his assistance in healing us. Well, we do have one damage here, but it's not a super, it's not super necessary right now. And our third option is we can give him some meat to help us get closer and closer to, to uh, El Dorado. So you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to lose one meat. That's why we killed the crocodile. So we'd have the extra meat to do this. And now I get to move this one up. I've got a long way to go still. But now we're one step closer thanks to this Awa. Okay. And then we move on to the next card, which is the Peccary. Now, I have to do the yellow regardless, but the yellow does give me navigation. So, that's cool. I get to save that for later. This for later for navigation. Um, and then this would skip the next card, but there are no cards. So, that's not something that's going to happen. Then I have to choose one of these three options. I can use my last bullet to get two more meat, but I don't really think I need to. I'm not going to do that. I can injure my jungle guy or lose my Jaguar to get two meat. So I could basically utilize this Jaguar here to kill the Peccary for two meat, basically, because now maybe he's a trained Jaguar. Um, or I can just simply lose one meat. You know what? Um, I have got, I've got a lot of meat right now, so I think we'll save our Jaguar and save him for later, but instead just lose one meat. So now we're back down to three mate, but we still get to keep this card regardless because we had to because it was in yellow. So now we've got two experts. We've got one in navigation. And we've got one expert in jungle over here as well. All right, cool. And now that's the end of the first phase of the round, of the first round. So then we flip this token over to evening, okay? The difference between morning and evening is a little different. In the morning phase... We set up the game where I would 
draw two cards, okay? And I would add some cards to the to the path, and they would go in numerical order. When you play evening, there is no numerical order, okay? So whatever is drawn first is what happens first. Whatever I decide to place out is what's next. And I can do it in any order I want. I could draw three first, and then add my three. I could do my three, and then add three, mix or match, whatever you want. But it would have to be in the order that they were placed for the path. So let's see here. The scorpion is not that great. The electric eels isn't very good. Um, and a blind draw for that may not be the best. But I could, for instance, use the ants to skip um, to skip the next two cards, which would be the scorpion and the electric eels, possibly. So we're going to place out all three of these cards just like this. So that way we can skip these three cards. Okay? Um, well, maybe not this one. We'll hold on to this one. We'll we'll draw. We'll blindly draw one and hope it's something horrible. Oh, it is something horrible. It's a mudslide. Okay, perfect. That works. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and place that one out. And then since I placed all three of mine, I still need to place out two more cards. So here's our cards. Okay. So we're ready to do the next phase of the game, the EB. Okay, so here we go. Yellow has, to, yellow has to be done. I skip the next two cards. I have no choice. I have to skip the next two cards. Okay, but the ants injure us in the process, so someone's going to get hurt. Um, since Roy... Uh, Roy will take one for the team, since he's got full health. Okay, but then I get two meats in the process. So, hey, we're going to eat some ants for dinner tonight. Okay, cool, but cool. All right, so now we've got a lot more meat, and we've passed this card, so we can continue on our search for El Dorado. But we get to first skip the scorpion, and we also get to skip the mudslide, thanks to those ants. Okay, so the next card is the electric eel. So the first thing I have to do, I have to draw another card. That's what this icon means. So another card is drawn and added to the path. Oh, it's a venomous spider. Not good. Okay, um, then I'm going to get injured. This is an optional. Remember, blue is optional. I could in get an injury for two meat. Hmm, do I want to do that? I've already got a lot. I've already got a lot of food as is. So I'm not going to I'm not going to do the optional injure myself for two food. I don't think that's worth the risk because we've got lots of meat right now. So we're going to skip this and move on. Or should I say we're going to skip the blue banner and move on. Okay, so the next one is the the Bakari. I have to choose one of these three options. I could shoot them with a bullet and i've got one left but then and then i but then i can swap out one of those cards which i don't know if I, I don't want to face the venomous spider right now probably not um i can just simply get injured two injuries that's not good or i can give them some food be nice to them give them some meat and in the process i'm going to get myself a tent and campsite so you know what that's what we're going to do that's why we got all this food for Okay, so now I've got even more cards here that I can utilize. So I'll save this one for later because I got a camping expertise. Awesome. So I'll just put that there. Okay, the next card is the fever. Uh-oh, someone's got a fever. Someone gets injured. Okay. Um, Isabel. Isabel will get injured. She got a fever. I mean, not Isabel. Sorry, Bessie got a fever. And then I can swap out the next card, but there is nothing to really swap with, so that's not going to work. I can't. It's only optional anyway. Then I have to do one of these two. I can either get another injury, or I can rest in a camp for the night. And we do have an expertise in camping here, so we're going to use this tent we got from the Bakari to uh, basically uh, relax and rest up from the fever that we, we just got, right? So that's what we're going to do. And then we move on to the next card. Otherwise, we would have gotten an injury. So we didn't have that. So thankfully, we did. Okay, the next card is a venomous spider. Um, so we can't do the swapping thing anyway. So this symbol 
it, if you see this symbol, it means instant death. You automatically kill one of your party members, regardless of how much health they have. So that's never an option, unless you have no option to do but to do that. Um, or the camper, the, the expert in camping gets one injury from the venomous spider. So unfortunately, Bessie, she, she thought she could handle that spider and she got injured in the process and bit by the venomous spider. Now she's only got one health. Okay, and that's the end of the evening phase. And so far, I've only gotten I've only gotten one card closer to El Dorado, and that's just two. And that's one full round of the game, two phases, and I've only gotten one up. So this is not an easy game by any means. Not an easy game. Oh, okay. So, but basically, you get how you understand how you play the game pretty well, right? Um, I'm gonna stop the video here, and I'll do a part two. I'll do a part two, I think. But let me just make sure I explain everything better one more time with this player aid here. So whenever you see this icon in black, it means you get food. If you ever see it like this, you mean it means you spend food. Uh, so same thing with ammunition and on both sides. Same thing with health on both sides. Um, you gain, whenever you see this symbol like this, it means you get the card and you get the card, okay? means you get the card if it's one of these three. But if you see this, it means you either lose the card that you have or somebody that has that symbol, that icon, gets injured, one health, or somebody else or two people lose one health or one person in, lose, loses two health. So that's your options with that. Um, and then obviously skip, that's skip. And that's swap. And then this is add. But then you can also, if you see this symbol, which we didn't really see, you can remove the last card in the path. So not including the current card. And then obviously we only got to do this once, but it allows you to advance and move your pawn to the next expedition. And obviously that's death. One of your explorers dies. So that's basically everything. I pretty much, pretty much showed you guys how to play the full game. Pretty much. We didn't make it to the very end, but um, at least now you should have a full understanding of how this game works to most extent, especially if you're playing solo. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to leave me a like if you guys liked this video. And um, I'm going to probably do another video trying to, trying to complete this game if possible. So if you guys would like to see that, go ahead and watch the next video. All right. Bye.